All right, so we're at a set of lights here. You see here, we're stopped at a set of lights. So what's gonna do, we've got the eye drive in, we're gonna put the foot down. And we're at 60. Boom, so you can see how fast that response is now. Much more enjoyable experience. Welcome back to another LDV video. Today we're gonna to talk about the throttle controller, the iDrive. I recently put an iDrive in. Uh, I'm gonna go through a couple of things today, the performance, the fuel economy. Um, if you haven't got an iDrive, you know what they look like. Uh, I think it was about 300 bucks. Um, hopefully I'll get a link in the description, you can check it out. Um, you can actually, you don't need an electrician, uh, you don't need an auto electric, you just install these, you can install it yourself. Pretty straightforward. Um, just plug and play under your, under your uh, pedal there. Uh, and away you go. Now, big things I've noticed with the iDrive, I actually put one in my Ford Ranger um, and noticed a big improvement there, but the Ranger didn't really need it. Um, it was just more I hadn't had one before and I got one. Um, so now, no, driving the LDV, it was extremely sluggish to drive, especially when you're overtaking on the highway, uh, if you're going through lights or roundabouts, or if you've committed to committed to um, to a situation like an intersection or something and you, you think it's a bit too close, the iDrive's really going to kick in. And um, since installing that, my little mate here. Uh, since installing the iDrive, I've had, had a massive difference to uh, to the driving of the vehicle and the um, and the actual overall driving experience has been a, a ton better, a lot better. Um, the LDV is my daily driver, so we drop the kids to school. I run around with it every day. Um, I don't use it for work or anything. I just use it for for day to day driving, and um, I like how the features of it. I like how it's nice and easy. It's what are you doing in my hair, dude? I'm brushing it. Uh, I think I like about the LDV, I've done 10,000 Ks now. Um, a little bit of that's been highway driving. Uh, I've done gone up the Queensland coast a few times. I did drive at night, which was, um, which I thought I could, you needed some spotlights. I've got a spotlight bar now, because um, the lights were, weren't super bright, uh, especially at pitch black at two in the morning. Um, uh, what else, so 10,000 Ks. Not a lot has changed since my last video. Um, I still drive it every day. The kids sit in the back. I like the uh, the ability of the tray. Um, I haven't used it four wheel driving yet. Uh, I don't intend to really. Um, I think if you're a four wheel driving, this is not the car you want to be buying. You'd want to buy a um, a Ranger, a Hilux, or something of more four wheel drive capability. Um, where the LDV is some more of a more of a daily driver type car, um, or even like a, a plumber, electrician, or work. A work type vehicle. Um, sorry, back to the R drive. This is the model you need EVC 723 throttle controller. So there's a thousand different versions of that, so make sure you get this model here. So, this is the fuel economy on the LDV with the I drive in. So, I did 497 Ks, average speed 90 K now. This is on the highway driving, and you're gonna see it's about 8 liters per 100 K, 7.9 liters per 100k so that's highway driving um 100 110k an hour uh, and then going through towns at 60k um, not a lot of traffic so it's not a lot of overtaking but uh gives you an idea of uh, the i drive fuel economy now you're obviously not going to be driving like that all the time uh redlining and putting the hammer down um, but it does definitely a much more enjoyable experience to drive the vehicle uh, especially during between gears and um and sort of going that 60, 80, up, down. It's an automatic, yes, but it's a little bit clunky between those gears. Um, so it definitely has, has improved that feature and uh, makes it a far more enjoyable experience. If you are a bit frustrated with the LDV and the uh, lack of power or lack of response when you need it, um, definitely grab yourself an iDrive and, uh, and it will absolutely improve your experience and uh, you'll, have a, you'll uh, have a far more enjoyable experience rather than be zero frustration. I promise you it's the... Uh, I've done 10,000 Ks now. I mean, I love the LDV. It's my daily driver now. Um, I like that it's got room for the kids in the back. I've got the uh, tray if I need it to take the rubbish or do whatever I need to. And it just ticks a lot of boxes for me as a daily driver. And for 28,990, which is what I paid last year, it's uh, you couldn't go wrong. Um, but one thing that was annoying me was just had a little bit, little bit of lag in response time. And um, so banging that I drive in is 100% uh, improved that. And uh, it made it even more enjoyable to drive, so I 100% recommend you get one. Um, I also put one in my Ford Ranger as well, which made a big difference, but um, wasn't much of a difference compared to this. Um, 
a massive difference in driving and and uh, response time. So go out there and get yourself one. Now one other thing with buying uh, not only an LDV but a new car is um, since we actually own Tyrone Auto stores ourselves, one thing we see a lot is that uh, the wheel alignments are never right. Um, always the wheel alignments on a brand new car are out. Uh, the LDV was no different. Um, I didn't check it and then I could definitely notice a bit of a pull in the steering at about, um, I was about 2,000 Ks, 3,000 Ks having the clock. And uh, so when I went and got it checked out, we uh, the alignment was out and that front tire was chewed out pretty bad. Um, so if you don't get it checked out quickly, so my recommendation is whenever you buy a new car, get your wheel alignment checked out. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be wrong, I promise you.